Hey you guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a swatch um, of the ColourPop blushes. So, if you'd like to see the colors and the swatches and hear a little bit about them, then just keep watching. purchased these last month. Um, if you're not um, familiar with ColourPop, it's, I, I believe it's a fairly brand new company. I think they just uh, came out like last year and they started with their, um, their Super Shock Shadows and then they added their lippy pencils and their lippy sticks and they just recently, I believe it was this year, I think it was in the beginning of this year, but anyway, they just um, introduced their uh, cheek line. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do swatches, we'll go over the colors, and uh, I'll let you know my thoughts. So, there are 20 colors, I just checked on the website, so there's 20 colors, and I went ahead and I, I, got, I purchased all of them. They run for $8 a piece. Now, if you have their shadows, or like the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils, they're all five dollars a piece so this is a little bit more uh, money it's a few dollars more because it is you are getting obviously more product I'll show you I'll show you so you have a little bit of comparison the uh, super shock shadows are this size and then their uh, cheek products are this size so that's where the extra money comes in I'm trying to see let's see the Super Shock Shadows are 2.1 grams and the blushes are 4.2. So basically it's basically double double the size of product. So anyway, when you get the cheeks, it's basically it's almost like the same it's basically the same concept as the Color Shock or the Super Shock Shadows. It has that um, like that sponge-like feeling. But we'll talk about the packaging. The packaging is the same as the uh, the, the Super Shock uh, Shadows. Comes in the white packaging. And there are, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. There's 13 matte colors and then there are 7 satin colors. So we'll go ahead and we'll go with the satin ones first. And I mean I did a, uh, I think I did a swatch on the shadows and lippy sticks. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll link that down below if it's something you want to check out. But I really, I'm a big fan of ColourPop. I really do. I like their, just their texture of their uh, color, I, I don't know if I keep saying color, color shock or super shock. I think it's super shock. But their texture of the super shock shadows is the same texture as their cheeks. Um, as their blushes and it's just it's like no other formula that I've really ever or texture I've ever felt it's like very like smooth feeling but like spongy almost I can't really explain it but it goes on and then it dries on like to like a like a powder finish so I can't really explain it it's just it's just such a neat texture if you've never felt them before but we'll go ahead and we'll go on. Let me roll my little. I'll probably do it on my hand. Um, okay, but this is the first one, so I'm going to do all the the satin ones first. This is called Pegacorn, right? Pegacorn, and it's just a very like magenta, I would say, color. They're just they're so pretty. And the best way to apply these is with your fingers. It's the same as the um, shadows. It, it just it applies the best with your fingers. But then if you want to go ahead and go in like with a stippling brush, a small stippling brush like that, and then just to blend it in a little bit better. But to initially put them on, I would say go ahead and use your fingers because it does work the best. And you want to store these really, really tight because they can dry out. I mean, I have not had a problem with my blushes yet or even the um, the uh, shadows. I've had my shadows uh, since last year and they haven't I haven't had a problem. So that is that one. This one is called Prenup. 
just the texture is just so cool. I just, <laughs> I just love it. So prenup is a very, I would say muted or nude, like rose color. I'm gonna get these all like dirty. So here's prenup. The next color is birthday suit. And I would say this color is like a dusty rose. So there's birthday suit. Well, hopefully you can see all the colors good. Next we have quarters. And this I would say is almost like almost like a burnt like a burnt orange color. It's like an orange but it has like that red. The next one is Cheerio. Cheerio. And this one's like a deep magenta. It looks like, let me see, it looks like a deep magenta. So it's like you could see, it's like very spongy, like you could press, put your finger, press your finger in there. It's just such a cool texture. I can't really even, I don't know, it's really cool. <laughs> this is actually, I would say, is more of like a burgundy like a like a pomegranate color like a burgundy that's cheerio next is fox this is more of a coral a coral pink And then the last satin is called Trickery. And this one's just a really nice, soft, peachy. So those are the satin ones. Alright, so now for the mats, we'll start with Homey. And this is just a very bright, like purple fuchsia, I would say fuchsia purple. That's Homey. Ah. Next color we have is Tonic. And this is like a bright, bright orange. So there's tonic right here. You can see it on my finger. Now, because they are sort of like, you know, they go on almost like a cream type of a texture than dry. You, it, the thing I do like about this is that they are very, very buildable. I mean, you know, you start out with a little bit, but you can build it up to the intensity you want it to be. So I don't think there's really, it's like you can't grab, even though it comes off your finger, you can't grab too much, um, which I like, you know, so it's something that you can definitely, you know, it's, it's buildable, you just start out with a little bit at a time and you just keep building it up until, you know, you get the color that you want. The next color is Thumper. And this is just like a very pretty, like baby pink. Sorry, it's my garage door closing. <laughs> so that's Thumper. 
Next color is Between the Sheets. And this is like just you know, a very light brown color. I haven't used these, which I'm curious to see how they work, like as for contouring. Um, I haven't used like the, the brown shades for it, so I don't know, you know, how they work as far as that, but that's between the sheets, so it's just like a very like a light, like chocolate brown. Alright, next we got Alfred, Alfra. The next one is Aphrodisiac, and this is like another brown, this I would say is like a medium toned brown, so there's that one. What is that? Moki? Machi? Maki. Maki. Makai. Mochi. I don't know. I'll put it down in the... <laughs> oh, I didn't show you that. Sorry. Again, this is just like another. This is like a medium... Medium pink. Right there. Next color we got is Pie, and this is a very bright, very bright, like, pink, like a deep, a deep pink, but it's very, very bright. Again, like, you know, the color that you see in the pan and then on your finger, it's, you know, not as bright as obviously when you start applying like this does not come off on your cheeks. It comes off like how it comes off on your hand. So that's that one right there. But they do, they blend into the skin really, really nice. Oh, where's the hair? They blend into the skin really pretty. Like I said, I don't think you can put too much on it one, at one time because when you do put it on, it's almost like, it is almost like a cream blush when you first originally apply it. So, I don't think you can overdo it. The next one is Clutch. Like a light red. Alright. We're almost at the end. The next one is Fruit Stand. And again, this is, just, this is a bright orange. But again, you put it on your hand, like how you would apply it on your face, and it's not as, you know, bright as it is in the pan. So that's fruit stand right there. It's like a little, like a fruit punch color. <laughs> Next one is early bird. And this is a medium, I would say like a medium pink like a rose, more like a, a medium rose. That's early bird. This one is bonus. And this is a nice peachy color with like a, I would say an undertone of like orange. This is a pretty color. I like this color. So there's bonus. All right, two more. This one's called Holiday. And this is the light pink. Right here, this one. Hopefully you can see it. Right here. And then the last one is Swift. And this is the darkest, the darkest brown that there is. 
So like I said, I have to really try it with like contouring to see how it works. But this is definitely like a deep, dark chocolate brown. I'll see if I can get this. But again, when you put it on your hand, it doesn't look as, you know, dark as it does in the pan. Just make sure they're on nice and tight. That's that one. Hopefully you can see it. Oh. So those are all of the mats. Hopefully you can see all those. So those are the swatches. Like I said, they're eight dollars. You know, they're eight dollars a piece. Um, you know, it's the same container with the super. Like there's the super shock set. The 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 the. It's the same container as the Super Shock Shadows. It's the same type of formula or texture. So it has that like sponge, uh, like it has that soft sponge, like sort of wet a little bit feeling to it. And it goes on almost like a cream and then you can blend it in, but then it dries like a powder. So, I mean, I really like them. Like I said, I love ColourPop cosmetic, uh, their cosmetics. I like their eyeshadows are beautiful. Their lippy products are very good. And those are all $5 a piece, but then these are $8. So, like I said, you have the seven mat, uh, set, I'm sorry, you have the seven satin, and then you have the 13 um, matte colors. I will see you guys in the next video coming up very quickly. Hi, bye guys.